Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Before we do begin today's video, make sure you guys are going down below and smashing that subscribe button. Make sure you're hitting that like button as well. But in today's video, I want to talk to you about why I think Modern Warfare has saved the Call of Duty franchise. Uh, honestly, I think what Modern Warfare has done this year has been honestly, literally so like life changing if you will for the Call of Duty series if that's one way to put it. You know, it's completely changed the way, you know, Call of Duty is and what it is as a whole. For very for for very very long time, I don't know exactly when. Uh, I'd like to say around Advanced Warfare, maybe Call of Duty Ghosts, or and most definitely when Fortnite was released. Uh, obviously, Fortnite was a big impact. It was a free game. It was a new game. We'd never seen anything like this before. Obviously, it was such a different style battle royale game. It was so much fun. Uh, like I said, it was free as well, so anybody could access it. Uh, it brought it basically. You know, that was the game to be on at, at that moment in time. Uh, nobody really played Call of Duty. I, I mean, myself, I personally did, but compared to what Call of Duty used to be, uh, talking back like the Black Ops 2 days, if you will, you know, the Xbox 360 days, the Call of Duty play base back then was was so, so many. Uh, and if you didn't know, the active monthly players in Modern Warfare is actually 100 million, I think it is. Uh, something crazy like that. Is it 100 million? It's, it's a really, really big figure anyway uh, for the monthly active users. So these are players that are actually playing the game every single month. And it's honestly insane. Uh, and I think, you know, it definitely has been a massive revive for the Call of Duty series. Obviously, comparing it to Black Ops 4, the play base in that game was very, very small compared to this game. Honestly, completely polar opposite, I would say. Um... And I think this is down to, you know, how much content Modern Warfare has brung. At the start of this year, I was very questionable about Modern Warfare. I didn't really like it. Uh, but as time's gone on and I've played this game more and more and more, I really, really enjoy this game. It's so much fun to play from Warzone to pubs. Even the special ops I like in this game, the Kulvalda mission, it's a very easy way to rank up on double XP. I did do a video covering this. Uh, so check that video out if you do want to. It's, uh, you know, the fastest way to rank up in this game as a whole. Uh... So if you are struggling to rank up, check that out. But anyway, uh, obviously, but it is so much fun. And I think, you know, the fact that we've had so many different seasons, we've had the officer rank challenges, so much DLC content, the store constantly, constantly getting updated every single day with new things to buy, you know, tracer pack weapons, new variants. There's so much variety in this game to keep you interested. I mean, Warzone being the biggest factor to why, you know, there's such a huge player base. The crossplay is such a huge factor. You can play with anybody, any of your friends, you know, before you was limited to who you could play with. Maybe a lot of your friends had the Xbox and you had the PS4. You couldn't play together. It was a bummer. Why would you want to play Call of Duty when Fortnite already had crossplay, you know? Uh, and then obviously crossplay was introduced. You can play with all your friends now. Warzone is free to play. Honestly, the probably the best battle royale right now. Uh, so much fun. It's free to play and it makes it so accessible for so many players. You know, maybe you wasn't sure about Modern Warfare. You didn't pick up the game. And then Warzone becomes free, like, oh my days, I can finally play with my friends. And it, Warzone has blew up. There's so many things going off with Warzone right now. It's the most trending thing gaming-wise, uh, you know, majority of the time. I've never seen anything trending higher than it. Uh, Fortnite still trends very high. Minecraft always trends very high in terms of YouTube. But Warzone literally seems to be the place to be. I mean, there's so many tournaments constantly going off. The pro players play it all the time, the stream, it. everybody streams Warzone, you know, it's Warzone, Warzone, Warzone all the time, people are obsessed with Warzone, the same way people are obsessed with Black Ops 2 and Modern Warfare 2, they were the peak times for Call of Duty, in my opinion, there was more players then than there ever was before, until now, and seriously, Cold War, keeping Warzone, if they didn't keep Warzone, if Warzone was scrapped after this year, similar to way uh, Blackout was in Black Ops 4, then Call of Duty would have been a write-off game series, I'm telling you now, if that was going to be the case, then I don't think, you know, the players would have stuck around, uh, either they would have carried on playing Warzone or Modern Warfare, uh, and Cold War would not have been touched, the fact that they're integrating together, they're going to have such, even more variety than we already have in that game, obviously the gunsmith allows you to create so many different weapons in this game as well, which is a huge key factor to why this game is so good, I mean the MP5 for example, I can turn this into the MP5K, the AK-47 probably has the most, where you can make it the AK-74U, the AK-47 obviously, the RPK, there were so many variants, different weapons you could turn into different things, and that would already bring so much variety to the weapons you could use in Warzone. Never mind the fact that we have the gunsmith as well 
in Cold War and they're going to be integrated together. They're keeping the same movement system in Warzone, the same engine, so the game's still going to feel the same and Time to Kill is going to still be the same, which won't put players off who are you know, wanting to play on Cold War. It's still going to be the same Warzone we all know and love. And I really think this year Call of Duty is going to go, it's, it's just going to absolutely just hit the top. It's going to be on top again, number one game, you know, played. Uh, I think it already might be at the mo at this moment in time. I don't know. Fortnite seems to be dying down heavily uh, because of Warzone. Everybody who played, uh, you know, Fortnite, or not everybody, but a lot of people who were streaming Fortnite. I'm trying to think of some examples on top of my head, but I can't. I'm pretty sure Symphony played Fortnite, and now he's a huge Warzone. Like, he's so good at Warzone, and there's so many other ones. That, that The list goes on and on and on. Dr. Disrespect, uh, I don't even know if he did play Fortnite. I can't remember, but I know he's obsessed with Warzone now, and he wasn't a Call of Duty streamer before. Um, it's just literally insane um, how much this has changed Call of Duty and it makes me so so happy I remember recording videos back in uh, Black Ops 3 it was uh, at the time uh, World War 2 was out at the time but I was recording Black Ops 3 videos and uploading them uh, and Call of Duty was dead on YouTube you know World War 2 nobody really liked that game and I used to think to myself because uh, I did upload Fortnite but didn't I didn't enjoy it I wanted to upload Call of Duty but I thought what's the point is nobody wants to watch Call of Duty but now Everybody wants to watch Call of Duty, everybody wants to play, uh, watch Warzone. Yeah, I don't upload too much Warzone on the channel, but I hope to be soon. I really need to, you know, capitalise on how big Warzone is at the moment and just try and push this channel to the next level. Um, but it brings me so much joy and happiness to see people enjoying Call of Duty like the old days, you know. It's insane. I think the fact this game was called Modern Warfare definitely helped. Uh, obviously, people who used to play Call of Duty and stopped playing it due to the, you know, the modernization and the futuristic and the jetpacking. You know, it put a lot of the old school players off. Uh, and the fact this one went back to its roots. It's called Modern Warfare for a start. It had the Captain Price in it, you know, nostalgic character. Everybody knows Captain Price. Brung so many players back to the game as a whole. So even naming this game Modern Warfare was a huge, huge, you know publicity like move like to bring this game you know so much bigger player base if that makes sense you know what i mean honestly i can't get over it and it's so happy and modern warfare for me i have to say is definitely a top five call of duty now uh out of every single game that's been released the things that this game has done for the series has literally just revived the whole thing it's uh it has saved the call of duty franchise i must say in my opinion i think it was a dying franchise for very very for many years uh Less and less people were playing it, and now it's it's back on top, and Cold War is going to be an insane year. Honestly, it's incredible. I'd love to know what you guys think of Modern Warfare below. It was a very controversial game at the start, but now it's just definitely a top-tier Call of Duty, 100%. But apart from that, guys, this is unfortunately going to be the end of the video, so make sure you guys are going down below and smashing that like button if you did enjoy this video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button as well to stay up to date with any Call of Duty news, tips and tricks, Cold War news, gameplays, all that good stuff. Make sure you smash that subscribe button. Make sure you follow me on my Instagram and my Twitter. Links for them there in the description below. Thank you guys ever so much for watching. I hope to catch you guys in the next one. Peace.